Hello everyone. I am going to do a look today that is um, a peacock eye look because I just was inspired and I found someone who loves to do peacock looks and I decided to do my own look. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't because there's many looks out there. But this is what I came up with and this is how you do it. The very first thing I used was um, eyeshadow and C glass by Maybelline. I'm going to use the um, teal one right here and I'm going to put it all over the um, lid at the very base up above on the lash right there and um this is a big splash of, of teal color right here and I like it it's great it's a great color and um I'm using a sponge applicator today because I like them right now I'm on a sponge applicator kick but that makes you go back to brushes because Mark likes his brushes, but I'm in this. I'm in a, 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 a sponge applicator kick. Well, like I don't even know what you call these, but these kind of applicators. I used to hate them, but then I realized that they put so much color on at once that I'm in love with them now. Okay, then I took one of my favorite colors. You, you I use it a lot with you guys. Blue Ice Eyeshadow by Milani, and we're gonna put it in the crease up above. And kind of blend it with the teal. Like so. Also put it down below. Now I know it kind of looks tacky. And it's very runway. But I love it. But you gotta also make sure that you keep your um, hmm, your um, lines underneath real consistent. And that looks consistent to me, but it may not on the camera, I don't know. But to me, that looks pretty damn good. Ah, I'm gonna go with it. We don't expect perfection all the time, do we? Okay, now what should I do next? Uh, that needs blended a little bit better. There we go. Okay, um, the next thing I'm going to use is, wow, Lasting Lilac, um, Maybelline, and the deeper purple, because I really love it. It's actually kind of two-toned. It's kind of a mix between, like, this with a darker tone. It's hard to, it's hard to describe, but, uh, I love it. And we're going to put it actually where we would usually put a highlight, right up here. Quite a bit, like to the brow. And we're going to use a lot of it because I love the shade. And I think it looks great with the teal, and I think it looks great with the blue, and I think it gives that more peacock look. Um, I know <laughs> purple isn't really a peacock color, but uh, in my book, it's a peacock color. So. We're going to do it. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay. I'm going to touch up my blue lace right here in the blend just to make sure I get enough blue on there because I really like this blue and it brings out my eyes the most. Okay, something that we're going to do next, we're going to put on um, black liner. And we're not going to put it on perfectly on the waterline. We're going to put a little bit underneath just to give it kind of a smoky almost eye. It's not really, but it's kind of.
So there is the black. And it's looking very good so far. It's looking very consistent to my first eye, which is good because I'm very perfectionistic, extremely, too much for my own good. And then I'm going to put Clinique uh, Lash Doubling Mascara. And I just use just the mascara. I do not like the primer. So we're going to put that on. That looks pretty good to me. And really the top lashes don't have to be perfect because I'm going to have the fake eyelashes put on with it, which really opens up the eye quite a bit. Okay, so what am I going to do next? I'm going to put on the glitter. And I got this glitter palette at Claire's, and my only comment on it is do not mix the colors because it's a, there's, there's like cream in here. There's like a cream thing underneath it and it ruins the glitter. You might as well just just use the glitter on top. And now I'm going to use this purple right here. And I'm gonna put it up above the, the on the brow line up where the, the highlight should be. Oh shit, I put too much on it. Spread that stuff out. Okay. That's just a little bit of shimmer because Mark likes the shimmer. And then I use this teal right here on the teal of my eye right here. A little bit of teal, give it a little sparkle. And then I went all crazy and put a little bit of teal underneath. Now this is one thing where you, it's, it's impossible to make the look look consistent on the other side because it's just so almost fallout looking and some people don't like that look but I don't mind it okay and now I'm gonna put on my thick eyelash I use duo adhesive because the adhesive it comes with um, usually isn't very good where did my eyelash go? where did it go? Mark needs his eyelash. Can't find it. I put it up here so I could use it and then I lost it. It's probably on the floor stuck to something. Just my luck. Okay, well, you can see from this eye what it looks like with the fake eyelash on. But I'd really like to get the other one on too, to really uh, get the full look. Where'd you go? Can't find you. Okay, I give up. But what I used on my lips tonight, just to give it a little bit of glisten, is Bonnebel Lip Lights in Crystal Clear. So that's the lips. Let me put a little bit more on. And there you go. And this is the end of this tutorial. Toodles! <laughs>